Hey guys, Vinny and I went, and I'm talking about Xbox Series X. Why? Because Phil Spencer, and for those of you who don't know who he is, he's the head of Xbox, and he was talking about the PS5 event. Now, after watching the event, I'm not going to say what he said, but I'm just going to sum it up. Basically, he said that Xbox Series X has like an advantage on the PS5 with hardware. And I'll just say what he ended with here. But when I think about the position that we're in with the games that we're going to be able to show and how they're going to show up and the hardware advantage that we have, I think we're in a good position. So basically, he said that after saying that Sony did a good job with their presentation. But here's the thing. Don't talk about that because the thing is that we don't know whether it really has a hardware advantage. Yes, on paper, the GPU is more powerful than the GPU in the PS5. But with hardware being more than just the GPU, because the PS5 is also saying how their SSD is so fast. Until these systems get in front of us, no one really knows anything. Because Phil may know what the Xbox Series X is capable of, but he's not sure what the PS5 is capable of. And now that he's basically said, yeah, we got the hardware advantage, people are gonna be looking at Xbox like through fine lenses because people are gonna have a higher expectation for Xbox Series X now over the PS5. And if the games basically look the same, even if the Xbox Series is just slightly better, people are gonna be like, what are you talking about, Phil? This ain't no real hardware advantage. And that's the thing, as head of a company, I don't think you need to say that before the stuff comes out. Like after it comes out, sure. But you can't exactly make that claim yet until you see how games run on both systems. That's what I'm saying. So I think the claim he made was a bit premature. And I know Phil Spencer, he's more of a guy, like he just speaks his mind. He, he's not like one of those presidents that seems to be dead careful in what he says, which is kind of cool in most positions. Cause I, I like how he says basically just what, what's on his mind. But I think in this situation, maybe just pull back a bit and kind of just until you can see both how both systems work and then may, make your claims. But what do you guys think about him saying that the Xbox Series X has a hardware advantage over the PS5? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching my like, subscribe, and God bless you all.